Hello, friends, foes, enemies, and allies alike. Bumpy McSquigums here, and this is going to be my weekly run through Dungeons of Dreadmore. So this will be week one, and we will get started as promised. We're going rogue, hardest difficulty, because losing is indeed fun. We're going to get that started. Permadeath, of course, Realm of the Diggle Gods activated, and then we are going to meticulously pick random, because that's just how we do it. I like axes, psionics, no idea, Promethean magic, eh, perception, okay, alchemy, smithing, and battle geology. Well... It seems like a, uh, not the greatest, but maybe a feasible option, so we'll see what happens here. We'll call him Axiomic. Uh, Rockman, I don't know. Axiomic Rockman, sure. That's what we're going to go with. He is a battle geologist, after all. So he must have rocks going through his veins. We'll see. We will see. This geology is fundamental. All right. So we have nothing on our heads, which now we have spectacles, so we can actually see better. Oh, wow, we have a lot of items in our inventory. We start off with quite uh, the uh, plethora of things. I don't know how to use half of these things. I've only really played around a little bit with the ingot press, and the anvil, and the ingot grinder. So, I'm not sure anything about alchemy, and I'm pretty sure that was one of our abilities. Yes, we are alchemists. So... We will see how that goes. All right, well, let's head to the left. We will see what fate befalls us. An evil magic potato. We do have an axe, right? Yes. And we are right-handed, so we want it in our right hand. All right. Smack to the evil magic potato. Did not seem to do all that much. We are actually taking a tremendously large amount of damage. We have dragon's breath. That sounds bad. Let's try it. Ooh. That was shiny, and I burned a hole in the wall. To me, that's a win. Alright, so let's take a look. You can belch forth a jet of flame, not unlike the that incident with the wager involving an entire barrel of dwarven rum. It sets any anyone in the way, including the floor, on fire. Well, something to keep in mind. Narcosomatic induction. Sleep now puts an enemy into a mildly painful, suffocating sleep. That does sound mildly painful. And plutonic fist! You know what I think would be cool is Plutonic Fist mixed with Battle, um, Battle Geology, uh, Unarmed Combat mixed with Battle Geology. That sounds like that has some potential. But, oh, no, no, that is not good at all. Ouch. We almost died instantly, guys. That would have been pretty awful. And we're going to step on a trap because... It just feels right. We're going to retreat and run and heal and pray. Not necessarily in that order, but could be. Burn for it. Alright, let's smack him. A couple times. Yay. We are still alive. Though, I gotta tell you, not overwhelmingly uh, confident in our ability to not be dead. We're gonna play with this alchemy thing, because I have no idea how it works. Maybe, just maybe, we have enough to actually make an alchemical healing potion of some type. We do have Aqua Vitae, or Vita, which does make a healing thing, but we need Rust, because somehow Rust heals us. I don't know how. I am quite terrified by the thought of consuming Rust, but it doesn't look like we have much say in the matter. Well, as it stands right now, we're not doing so well, guys. I don't want to lie to you and say we're doing good. I'm actually quite terrified. We do need some diggle eggs, so thank goodness there are diggles abound. We are going to attempt to not die a horrible, horrible, painful death. We are out of mana. We are very scared. We are going to take a shot at the diggle. How much damage does this do? It doesn't tell us. We're going to take a risk. I don't know, I'm scared guys, I don't know what to do. I don't know. Usroda, run! The wall there, keep running! Alright, do we dare? I'd like to get some distance. Hmm. Aha! And we gain a little bit of distance between us and the Diggle. 
Doesn't appear to be so. So we're going to take a shot at him. It's not enough. We're going to risk it. And we are victorious. I do apologize for the kiting and the very high tension there, guys. It was it was quite scary. I'm not going to lie. I may have peed a little bit. I don't know. I'm scared to check. It is embarrassing. But, regardless, we survived. We are still in this very, very badly uh, conceived LP or playthrough. We have no monies to speak of. We could get some ground meat. It doesn't sound all that wonderful. I'm going to step on yet another trap because I am just terrible at avoiding these things. It is just one of those things that I do very badly. We're going to attempt to disarm the trap from behind a wall, which seems to have worked quite nicely. And look at that. We are immune to the trap triggering. Ooh, another portistil, which I don't know what that does necessarily. I'm scared to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Ooh, I did not light the, uh... Nice, that worked out really well. Alright, baked potato, anyone? And we're going to smack the potato. He's going to smack us back. So we have no defensive abilities right now, and that's kind of problematic. But we really need to get some decent gear. Without decent gear, we are in for a world of hurt. Now, what does this do for us? We have a little eyeball thing, which gives us visual sight radius, and then we have... What, what was the other thing? I apologize, guys. And we have enemy, enemy dodge reduction, so we can see a little bit better. Or we can actually get some dodge ourselves, and right now it doesn't seem like hitting the enemy is a problem. It's getting hit by said enemy. So, we are going to attempt very, very much to not die in the first few seconds of our LP here. Our playthrough for this week, we'd like to at least get to level 2, maybe 3, maybe 5, maybe beat it, I don't know. I have high hopes. I realize that those hopes are somewhat unfounded. But I am you willing to bet mana. that I need more mana. That I may just do alright. It does appear that we are being attacked mercilessly. We do have some separation, so I'm going to drink some of the sewer brew, get myself some mana. Apparently the gnome can shoot stuff at us magically, of course. Everybody knows gnomes are magic. And boom, he is down, we are going to continue on, we're going to go back down here, there's a diggle. I also saw that there's salt behind the food vendor. We're going to move up, you we still don't have enough mana. Food. We're going to slap the Diggle a couple more times. He is going to go down like a sweet muffin, and we are going to be on our way. I believe there was a raven. There is indeed a raven. We are going to burn it to death. In theory, maybe. All right, well, we definitely hurt it. It's one hit from death. Can we land the hit? Yes, we can. The Diggle somehow magically spawned up there. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm pretty sure not well. Oh, I gotta tell you guys, I had the soup, it was wonderful, but it is trying to come back up, guys. And I am trying to keep it down. We are taking the diggle down. Alright, well, we're nearly up to our first level. So that is a very good thing, because right now I'm not particularly enjoying what's happening before us. We are struggling with every step. We are hopefully avoiding some more of these horrible, horrible, god-awful traps. Boulder drop plate. Can I burn the diggle? I can, apparently. And they will trigger the trap, and I will be gloriously safe. From all things painful and horrible. Drop the diggle, the magic potato is fine, sadly. We did not manage to burn him at all, but now we're going to. to regain health. He's going to spit little balls at us. Your health is critical. Hit us. And sadly, we're just going to have to man up and hopefully take him down, and we have achieved it! So now we're in a precarious position. However, we are going to level map. Level up by vandal vandalism. I like it. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! Alright. So now we have a whole slew of new problems. I don't know what we should be leveling up. Um, it looks like we get extra damage and a little bit of block rating if we go with geology. A little bit more block rating, a little bit more block rating, but this is part of a uh, 30 second cooldown skill, along with maybe some more damage. 
Petrification, Vine, and Quake. All these things seem good. And that's not a bad thing to, you know, aim toward. Uh, I don't know much about alchemy. So I'm a little bit put off at going that route. Considering how badly we are going with, uh, everything else that's happening. So we're probably going to skip alchemy for now. We have Perception. Which doesn't seem all that overwhelmingly useful. It will help with traps later on. And, wow. Yes, really, if you can see it, you can kill it. Better yet, the greater your sight radius, the more damage you do. So we could go with a perception build and just eye laser everything to death every 32 seconds, which does not seem very viable. We're probably not going to do that. We have Promethean Magic, we have Dragon's Breath, Rune of Exploding... The problem is that we are not exactly the most mana-efficient of characters. We don't have uh, Lay Walking or anything of that nature. So I don't believe that this is going to be a viable option for us. However, I did forget that I can... I don't know what that does. I need to read that again. Oh, it puts an enemy to sleep. Um, I think we're just going to have to go down the, the line of axes, but again, this doesn't help us at all with our... Uh, it does not help us at all with our not dying problem that we are totally having here. Um, well, I don't know what to do. I'm really at a loss here, guys. Um, we have no way of really buffing our defenses short of... I guess we're going to go Battle Geology. It's the only one that really gives us more defensive uh, capabilities. So, while that's not my first choice, it appears to be the only logical choice. Oh boy, there's traps everywhere. Need food to regain health. Yeah, we're not going to do that, guys. I apologize. I should not have tried to disarm that trap. Maybe this is going to be an amazing... Of course. I feel stupid. Look at that. I am just stupid with stupidness right now. Maybe there's something good in this room. We went from full health to almost none. Oh, and there's a Diggle boss. Fantastic. As if things weren't already problematic enough for us. Oh, he's got a giant wall of fire to get through, which did not seem to slow him down all that much. Now he can burn for it. Yeah, we've done some damage to him. Not as much as I would like. You need more mana. Drink more booze. We need more mana. We must drink more 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 boo boo booze. All right, we have more said mana. He's resistant to our flaming charms of love. We are gonna chug some alcohol. Not highly recommended, but. It does seem that it is working quite well for us. Hmm. That was a waste, because that did not hit anywhere near where I was hoping it would. So we are going to play Ring Around the Table. It is going quite well for us. I will not lie to you guys. And it appears that we are able to burst him once more into flames. He is not looking too healthy. We are not looking too healthy. I don't know what this is going to do. I'm going to smack him with it. It didn't seem to do much of anything. It's a decent exfoliator. That doesn't seem to really help me all that much. It does appear that I have made a slight miscalculation in my walking abilities. But we are going to hopefully remedy this. He doesn't seem to want to leave me alone now. So I am quite saddened by this. Alright, we did manage to get a little bit of separation. I do not believe the wand was all that useful to us. Come on, come on, Diggle. Alright, well, what we're going to do now is... We're going to man up and see if we can kill the Diggle. Come on, Diggle, let's do this. And one more. Boom. Diggle down. Alright. Diggle down on death. That's what we did, guys. Diggle down. I know, now all you guys want KFC and they're double down. Alright, we got a rusty dealy. Full arm of some type. Um, alright. Maybe there'll be some food here in the mini fridge. 
There's a potion of Midas in the mini fridge. Not all that useful to me. Some salt. Aged steak. I'll take it. I'll take the salt as well. Sliced bread. The greatest thing since itself. Or the best thing since itself. The barbecue was empty. That is unfortunate. We have a burnt out wand. We will take that. We are going to avoid the toxic gas sprayer dealie. We are going to torch the diggle, which did nothing because my aim was terrible. And apparently we have the diggle flu, which is not good for us. We do not do well with being sick, so having the diggle flu, probably not top three things we want to have happen to us right now. <clears throat> Thankfully the diggle flu is almost worn out. We have a magic potato in here that we can cook we more mana. if Drink we had more mana. Booze. Well, oh, to he just spat on me. I don't particularly enjoy getting spat on. Burn for it! Alright, so the potato has to come to us. Aha, he lost us. And now we go up and slap him, and down he goes. So this is going to be a very slow-paced walkthrough, or uh, playthrough, as it were. Because as you can see, I'm not doing so well. It seems every fight could potentially end my life. I don't particularly enjoy this. The game in and of itself is fun. I do enjoy games like this. And this game is phenomenal. Gaslamp Games did an excellent job with this. I do enjoy it thoroughly. Ooh, we got a Tobin's Spirit Guide. I like it. So we're getting enough stuff now to where we might actually be able to make some Zork mids when we sell them. Pull the lever, but doesn't appear anything happened. That is quite alright. Maybe. Maybe it's alright. I don't know. Look, there's a sort of, ugh, sort of glass there. However, oops, wrong button. No. Oh, this one, ugh. Well, what does this one do? Hmm. Both of these seem bad. Well, I suppose that wasn't the end-all be-all of traps. Oh, gosh. The whole place is just stupid with traps. Absolutely ridiculous. You need more mana. Of course I do. Die, gnome. There we go. The gnome is dead. We're going to crawl our way down here to make sure we do not trigger any more traps. And we're going to continue on. I realize this is much slower going than my last run through the game. And for that, I do apologize, guys. But at the same time, it is a harder difficulty. I have not hand-selected the skills I wanted. Though I imagine last time I didn't do the greatest job doing that either. But at least I had stuff that made some sense. In this particular run through, we have no defensive peripheral skills. Oh, jeez. So we are kind of at a significant detriment here. We are doing what we can, but it's just not quite cricket, as they say. That is quite alright. We will... That didn't do anything interesting. I've never known this to have a odd... Huh. Well, there we go. I've never had that fail before. That is interesting to me. Alright, well we have cleared out this little section over here. We are going to try to avoid many, many traps until we have a overabundance of food, lots of health, and we're just burly, burly, crazy, super powerful guys. Right now, we are not really those things. Hit. We are seeming to handle more of the mundane creatures are relatively easy. Uh, again, relative, relatively easy. Um, but yeah, no, things are not going horribly awful. They're just going really, really bad. So, oh, that looks like a horrible room. So we're going to attempt to burn them to death. Burn! Alright, 
so we got a diggle weakened. Um, do we have any more food laying around? It does not appear that that is the case. So, <coughs> unfortunately, and I'm sorry guys, <coughs> unfortunately we have cleared through all of our food. We are in a very, very scary situation. One that I don't much care for. Mana. I need drink more mana. More I do have a booze that I can drink. I'm pretty sure I have it. Or perhaps not. Oh, I do. Alright. Does not look like I've triggered that blobby to come eat my soul yet, so... He is now upset with me, though. So we will continue to put some fire on him. And five. I think I can handle a five hit. I can. I hit him for eight with a crit, which is nice. This is very nice. There should be a food vendor over here, in theory, and I think I'm going to have to utilize that, which makes me sad because I'm not one to really buy a lot of food. The playthroughs don't usually go this poorly at the beginning. And that seems like that's all the money we have. So we're going to eat this steak. And we're going to continue our westward push, hopefully avoiding all traps. I'm not sure what that is. It looks cool, I like it, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh, and I triggered a trap. Remember when I said I wasn't going to trigger any more traps? Surprise! I did it anyway. Alright, let's take a look at our inventory now. We have not picked up anything of any kind of import. Um, so, I want to say that we are in a horrible, horrible, terrible, bad, awful, awful situation. So, uh, let's see what we can actually... Is there anything we can craft? I'm not entirely sure. We will give it a shot. So we can put some gold together here. Oh, it looks like a little bit of iron as well. And that looks like that's going to be about it. Um, Alright, so... Go into our crafting menu here. Uh, we'll lower our nimbleness and get rid of some of our sneaky ability. I don't know if there's leather working in this game. Hmm. Looks like you could build an iron... Well, I assume, but probably not. Because the game... The one thing I don't like this game does is it shows if you have a specific item, like the iron ingots. If you have one, it'll show that you have that resource but you won't be able to build it. Also, our tinkering skill is only level 1, so we are very limited to what we can actually do. Alright, so let's take a look at what we can actually build here. That's not horrible. It does lower our nimbleness some. Uh, we can get a ring that adds some blocking, which wouldn't be horrible either. Um, that's really about it. That's kind of our only option, guys. Crude Iron Axe is actually worse off than our Crude Stone Axe. Um, and our Rough Iron Axe is slightly better. I don't know, guys. I I'm thinking we're going to go down the, the path of the Iron Ring. Just to give ourselves a little bit more defensive measures. And we'll roll out from there. Alright, so not exactly the most exciting craft that we could have ever have had. But we're apparently breaking our foot once again on a door. We're going to gobble up that plum. And we're going to double check to make sure everything seems to be going okay. It did say we were skipping frames, but I imagine it's because I had it all tabbed. Alright, well that's rare. You don't usually see an animal inside the place of the guy. And we did bring him down. It was very painful for us. But we did manage it. Alright, so... Wow, look, a Spartan shield, guys. A Spartan shield. Alright, so we have all sorts of stuff. Uh, hmm... Alright, well, let's get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need. Alrighty. I think that's everything. I don't think I need mushrooms, so I'm not entirely sure of that particular fact. Or whether it's a fact at all, I don't know. But, 
Either way, I don't know what I'm doing necessarily. So, we'll keep doing what we can. Alright. So, if we take a look... Oops, come on. Stop it. Sorry, guys. I'm fail clicking right now. Alright. So, we have a decent chunk of, um, of money. Adventuring gloves. Doesn't seem all that awful. Crude axe looks terrible. Grass seems bad. The helm of threepwood does seem to be a bit better than the cone of love here. Flat damage mitigation with... Oh, what is that other one? What is it? I'm sorry, guys. I think that's like crushing damage. Yes, crushing damage. So I, I assume damage resistance. Um... We could use the belt, but we don't have the monies. We don't want the ring, necessarily. We don't have any flippy floppies. So that could be useful. Um, Sorry, guys. Indecisiveness. Alright, so we're going to get the flippy floppies. We are going to buy them. We're going to buy the adventuring gloves. That seems to be quite useful to us. Um, I don't know that we necessarily need... Oh, I suppose we are casting magical stuff. Oh. So many bad choices. Alright, we're, we're just going to roll with what we picked up here, guys. It is something. More than what we had before. We're slightly more tanky, though. <laughs> I wouldn't hang my hat on that. We're going to eat our Danish. Oh, we have a Diggle and a Blobby chasing us, which is also terrible. Alright, we have run into a wall. We are not afraid of the Diggle anymore. Alright, we're a little afraid of the Diggle. The Diggle is down. The Diggle is down. Say again, the Diggle is down. The Blobby, however, seems like he's got a much larger potential to hurt us a lot. Alright. Two hits. Three. Alright, so not too, too bad. We're about halfway into our next level. So, things are going slow, but they're going. Oh, I can't really complain too horribly awful about it. A little bit sure, because this is a lot slower and a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Also, I suppose random being probably not the best option, considering I'm not that good at the game to begin with. Alright, you must find the item. Form the exaltation of cheeses and take it to the eyeball shrine. Well, doesn't that sound fun, guys? Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> Alright, well this looks like a horrible, horrible, awful trap that we are going to trigger, and then run, maybe. Oh, I think we made a mistake. I think we just did something terrible. Oh, we are in a lot of trouble, guys. Alright, we're gonna attempt this. We need a Hervardi. Then we're going to run. And we're gonna get trapped again. This is terrible. Alright, well, I'm running out of options here, guys. I don't know what to do. Things are not going well for me. You need more mana. Drink more food to regain health. We're gonna attempt to kill the bat. We have succeeded. The bat is down. We are alive. That could have gone so much worse than it actually did. It did not go good in anybody's imagination there. Alright, we are going to attempt to put this guy to sleep. Ugh. Oh, that could have gone so much better. Or so much worse, so... Sleep again. Didn't seem to work. I'm gonna smack him. And we are going to be victorious in that horrible trap that I should have never triggered. I knew better, guys. I knew that was a bad idea. I really, really lamented the choice, but I didn't want to seem weak to you guys, so I decided just to roll with it, and it almost cost me. The Blobby is asleep. The Blobby is going to take a smack to the head, followed by another one, and he's going to go down. 
We are still alive, and we managed to bring a ring that gives us five more health, which is fantastic, because we need all the help and health we can get. Alright, so looking at this, we've covered most of the left side of the map that we can reach from our current situation. So now we get to head to the right. And then we're going to go north, I think. I think that is how we're going to do it. We're going to try to cover as much of the left side of the map as we can. Get as much of this filled in as possible. I walked into that. I have to remember to utilize them coming to me as often as humanly possible because right now. Alright, he just aggroed, which means I got first swing. Critical hit. Right now, Critical we can't afford hit. to make stupid mistakes. Which I'm sure I will make several more of. Like walking down that trap that I just saw and almost stopped in time. And I did it again. Guess that one wasn't a damaging trap. Yep. And one more trap? Yes? No? Maybe? No? Alright. Oh. More than one thing there. Look at that. Alright. So that went really well for us. We only get hit once. And then we got a bunch of negative debuffs, which are gone. So in all, not so bad. Now I wonder if this... adds damage to... I think I have to select myself if I wanted to do that. Let's see here. Plutonic Fist. Oh, what does a lot of negative stuff. What is that? Negative 30 counter chance, so no countering with that. And then negative 50 or 70 crit. So there's no critting with it either. Well, maybe that's useful to break down doors? Uh, I don't know. All right, we're actually going to head east. We're not going to head south. Oh boy. Oh, we may have just messed up. Not the end of the world, but we are not going to be using battle geology, that's for sure. Alright, so as it stands now, we need to kick something open. Hmm. Or, I have another option. That seems a little silly, but I want this buff off of me. I'm going to... Hope... That I... Can... Oh, okay, it's okay, it's toggleable. Oh well that's good. I was a little concerned there, guys. I, I thought I may have just kinda hurt myself a lot. And we leveled again, the meddling kid. Alright, well battle geology still seems useful. With a thought you compel a seismic wave to erupt through the ground at an enemy. The following mini quake will also daze your foes. That does seem like a useful ability to escape with. Again, I'm torn, but I think I'm going to run with the... This does seem to give us more blocking. But we're going to run with this. This is going to be our go-to stuff. We are going to attempt to be amazing battle geologists. I don't know how it's going to work. That seemed pretty cool. So we are going to burn the path to us yet again, make the baddies fly through the fire, and then we will slap them with our axe, and well, things are actually going a little bit better than they were, I, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I have defeated the commander of Lord Dreadmore's 85th Brigade, the Demonic Lions. Remaining members of the Lord's, Lord Dreadmore's 85th Brigade, the Demonic Lions, flee in fear. Well, that, I guess, is cool. Ow. Traps are bad. Alright, I believe I can hit him with this. We'll see. Yeah, I like that skill. That is a cool skill. Alright, so he's not real happy. Space! Dead! Alright, now I'm kind of torn. Do I want to try going more dodgy equipment? See, I don't know. Uh, having heavy weapons and shields and all that stuff does seem useful. Do we have... We have no defensive stuff, though, do we? 
No, we do not. So, I don't know, guys. I honestly do not know what we're going to do. But, we're coming up to the close of episode one, which isn't to say it's the end of pretty much... I'm going to keep it down to 30 minutes just for rendering and ease of watching use. But I will put it all in its separate playlist. I believe I'm going to do uh, weekly runs of Dungeons of Dreadmore. Is what I'll call the playlist. I'll have my Let's Play that didn't go so well. Um, that went okay. Uh, separately, uh, then I'll have these all together. In a weekly run of... Uh, maybe I'll just do weekly runs and then maybe eventually I'll pepper in some other other games. We'll do a full run through the run throughs of those games. Anyway, um, I'm going to kill this Diggle, and then that is where we're going to end Episode 1, and then I will jump right back in here and start up Episode 2, and we will continue our weekly run through Dungeons of Dreadmore. So this has been Episode 1 of Week 1 of my run through Dungeons of Dreadmore. As I just said all this stuff, I'm Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys in just a few seconds.